friends. Welcome to 30 Pinks, 30 Days, the wrap up. We did it. Well, and it is we because y'all kept me company during this month. It was a very difficult month. <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. Um, but we're here. We did it. We swatched 30 pinks. We did 30 pink splats. We did fortunately did not ink 30 pink pens. But here's here's what it all looked like. There's some really great ones, some great pinks, some great colors that are called pink but aren't pink. Uh well, are they great? Sure. Um and again, some of these are named pink. Some of them, it's like when you go to a website and you say, "Give show me your pink inks," and you use that filter. These all came up under that filter. So this is like pink is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Because I got all these and I grabbed all of the pink swatches that I have to do comparisons. Um, I did end up redoing my Tsuji card. And you'll see. When you see it, you'll see it, that it was probably a good idea I did that. So, um, should we do an overall, like, looking at this? I think there are a couple, uh, a few obvious not favorites. These orange ones. Yep. I don't think they belong with my pinks. Momiji, interestingly, does not look pink because of this gold sheen. So it, it's sort of closer to magenta it's or a vermilion, like a cool leaning red to me, which you can kind of see here. But that sheen over it definitely skews it to looking more red. Um, and then there were a few that are definitely not for me because I would not be able to read the writing. And you can really pick them out. I write most on this cream Tamoa River paper. So Pink Fairy Orchid, lovely, not for me. Dizzy Sun of Mewa, lovely, not for me. And I think this uh, pink by Diatramentis is probably also too light. Uh, Flowers on the Way is would be like a maybe. And then what was this called from day six? Cherry Blossom Dream might also be too light. Um, some favorites. Well, there are, what, four, five that are basically some, some great punch-you-in-the-eye pink. Love those. Um, I love, love, love the way this swatch of 130 looks. Sailor Studio 130, the, like, coral color that comes out but doesn't dominate um spoilers i did put two of these inks in pens already one was uh sailor ink studio 130 i made a poor choice of pen i'm gonna take the ink out of that and use a different pen and then i put a uh, momo pink where you go momo pink in a pen that was a great choice so enough of looking at this Let's get going. So I tried to organize these already into these colors are similar um, families, right? And some of them were like, nothing is like these. These two, that there were two is interesting. And then I think we have a bunch here that things don't look like them. And then a bunch here where lots looks like them. So let's go. Um, we'll start with these six. I'm gonna try and move things out of this shot so that like, the camera you know, don't trust the color accuracy, but you should be able to trust 
them amongst each other. So, unfortunately, I don't think these are in order anymore. Let's see. Had a lot of pinks. Um, I did try to prep for this, but you know it's surprisingly difficult to get everything out and then like leave it out. Yeah, here we are. So some of these are just samples I've had over the times. Some of them are uh, bottles. I felt like these four are pretty similar in the writing. This is darker. And then these two. So these four are warmer. Those two are cooler. This is a warm one. Sailor Shikiori Sakura Mori is pretty similar to these. It's actually kind of a slightly more neutral. Uh, Han it's not very similar to Hana Akata, but like it's pretty close to Cherry Blossom Dream, which is makes sense because Sakura's Cherry Blossom and Meiwa also based on Cherry Blossoms. So. Uh, that one's pretty close. This Waringal Floating Cloud, pretty similar to the Inkabara, but not exactly. And it's considerably darker than these folks. Uh, Waringal Atlas, Twelfth Night. This actually, I think, was more like our, our weirdo friend, Flowers on the Way, but not really, right? They both have that, like, bluish funkiness going on that I love but it's still funky. Um, Vinta Lacambini, which I think is the maiden. Some of you mentioned that. This one's really light with a gold shimmer. So in that sense, none of them are like it, but I, I will argue that these colors are all fairly similar, the base color. And then Pink Ice is kind of looks like a shimmery version of Ink Studio 130. So there's that. Um, of these, ooh, I think Inkabara Fairy Tale Pink and um, Ink Studio 130 are my favorites. But I'm going to pull this one out. If you look at these, Iroshizuku Kozumosu is not dissimilar. And spoiler a bottle of this on the way because fear of missing out everybody momo got me so this one kind of belongs here but it's a little darker hopefully that is some interesting stuff and then so these ones are, again are sort of similar but like far bluer but we'll bring them up we'll bring them in Um, so to compare, I don't think I had any that were really close. Maybe, um, uh, in the middle here, I tried to get a couple, those ones. So Pannonia Abigail, but this is almost purpley. It's a pink, but it is so much bluer. So we'll take these out of here. I don't know if we need those again. Then our friends here, opal pink and flamingo pink. Well, diamine pink. Then Iroshizuku Fuyugaki, this is orange. I just want to point out, this is decidedly an orange ink. It's pinkish for an orange, but there you have it. Juliet by Waringal. 
this fits right in, except for it has a gold shimmer. And then Diamine Ink Mint Peach Punch. So this is more orangey. But these pink inks fit right in with these oranges. And then if we wanted to also bring in... Where'd you go, friendo? Yeah, Garden District Azalea. Belongs with these orange inks as well. Am I salty about it? Nah, but I have opinions. So, here I'm gonna bring these together. Kozumosu, Asagiri, Omiji, and Flowers on the Way. Kind of funky group. Um, Some of these don't really don't belong here, but, oh, yeah, okay. Here's that pink ice next to Cosmos in case you missed it. That's like not very far off, or Asagiri. This obviously doesn't go. So Wistful Watermelon, this is a Diamine um, Colt Pins color. This is definitely like a pale red and not a pink. Cashmere Rose is an ink vent. Kind of close to that, but not really. Kobe number 30 Cherry. Could kind of fit in with these. And Lamy Vibrant Pink. So then you have color verse think pink. And then look, here's the Tsutsuji card that I redid. So different, right? This is fresh. So these are all redder by comparison. If you, sh if you see these here, right, they're far bluer. So pull those out of the way. <clears throat> I'm hiding that Tsutsuji though, because it's a liar. Then we have... Oops, these four, right? The Kyono Oto Emayo Iro, uh, Van Diemen's Tasmanian Robin Pink, Faber Castell Electric Pink, and Van Diemen's Purr. Should we put the two Van Diemen's next to one another? Um, let me see, bring this in. I hope it's all right that I'm not zoomed. I felt like we needed the, the space more than we needed other things. So these are all pretty similar. This one is not as similar to these, right? I, I hope you can see that. <clears throat> I love these. Um, if we want to look at them, also we can throw in Orchidae and KWZ Raspberry. And here we can bring in these, again, far more blue. Here, this is called Raspberry Rosé or Raspberry Rose. And then we have another rose. This is Black Swan in Australian Roses, though worth noting, I bought this in, I don't know, 2016, I think. And the color from batch to batch in this varies greatly. So currently it looks a lot like, my swatch looks a lot like KWZ Raspberry, but I don't know what you would get today. Um, then we have wearing gold pride and prejudice doesn't belong here. Diamine party time. I don't think belongs. It's much cooler. Um, and then we have these friendos, which definitely don't belong up here, but may belong down here. Let's see anything else to add to this equation. I'm always going to compare maybe to Tsutsuji because since it's going away, I think if you look at this, uh, Kyono Oto Imayo Iro is pretty close 
Tasmanian Robin Pink, pretty close. Faber-Castell Electric Pink, pretty close. None of these have the gold sheen. Um, Orchidae is cooler and the sheen is green. Uh, KWZ Vibrate Raspberry, also cooler. Lamy Vibrant Pink is not dissimilar. The sheen is more greenish, but you also can't get this, so that doesn't help us. Um, and color reverse think pink feels a bit softer than these. Maybe not too dissimilar from raspberry. So I loved this bunch. Um, they're so bright and cheerful. I did think for a minute about buying a bottle of this because it smells like vanilla and I like the color. But... I don't know that I need any of these. I mean, I don't need any of these, but you know. Then we come to these ones. These are kind of like the eye searing pinks. I love them. I love them so much. Um, they're not all the same, but they're pretty similar. So Hope Pink and Rose Grenade from uh, L'Artisan Pastelier are pretty. Like, they're not identical, but even I would not own both intentionally. Um, then you have these three. Ink Studio 431, uh, Cyclamen Pink, and Momo Pink. Momo Pink has a gold sheen, which is why I think in the swatch card you're seeing it look oranger. <laughs> These are really similar to one another. If you want sheen, probably Momo Pink. If you want some but less, Cyclamen Pink. If you want none, Ink Studio has a bit in the um, dip pen writing, but... These two don't really have it in the Hakoro writing. These I love. Um, this Kobe uh, Roko Alps pink is similar, but like slightly less saturated. And then this uh, Fuchsia de Magellan is very tempting to me. Very, very, very tempting to me. <laughs> but I have gold or champagne colored shimmer additive. So like I can make my own, right? Um, I had been hoping because psychedelic, <laughs> psychedelic magenta not made anymore. And I hope to find a dupe, but no. But this, um, maybe if you watered down Sumo Rikyo Rose. Uh, let's see, these don't go. I think none of these, oh, oh, we got stuff flying everywhere over here in my swatch city. Um, oh yeah. How did those not come out already? I'm getting like, there's cards everywhere and we're in trouble. So here's Tsutsuji. This is darker. Even with the old card. Um, this is, I think, more saturated than these. And then think pink in here with these friends. It fits, but it's bluer. But vibrant pink, again, not available. So then you have, oh, I meant to bring this out. Look, Diamine Sweet Dreams, which was a scented ink compared to Faber Castell Electric Pink and Van Diemen's Tasmanian Robin Pink. They're not identical, but these two seemed really similar to me, and this is not scented. So if you liked the color of Sweet Dreams but don't like scented inks because of the scent or because of their performance, um, Tasmanian Robin Pink or even this Imayo Iro, pretty similar, and even Pink Purr. 
now back over here here's kobe cherry next to these but you can see it's not quite right let me see do we have others in here to compare to not really oh and poultry pink this could go down here if we wanted to <clears throat> So this one's in a pin right now. I like it, but I don't know if I'll buy it. Which other ones do we have to look at? Divine Pink. That was one of them. Did we look at everything? I don't know. Look, if I didn't compare any, it's fine. We're over it, right? Everything's a mess over here. So Divine Pink and Sumeriki Rose, so we'll, one by one. Sumeriki Rose, here's Solferino, just to bring that in. Very like purple, right? Pride and Prejudice, Party Time. These two are kind of close, but the shimmer. Then some folks uh, mentioned Andronople by Califolio. This, you can see it, right? It's beautiful. Um, I own Claret, though, and for me, it's close enough, right? I own Claret and Hissy Fit, and so, and Yamabudo. As a result, probably not buying Sumeriki Rose. Is it different? Yes. Is it similar enough? Yes, it is. Oh, also, so if you love Hissy Fit, but you can't get it because they don't make it, like, some of these other ones are good choices. And this one, Mauritius Magenta, comes in a dope bottle. So we drop them off. What did we do? Oh, Divine Pink. I got nothing, friends. This one was pretty red, and I need to grab swatches of my red inks because you know it was definitely like one of these things is not like the others so here's here's what happened in my brain we went through all of these now i'm gonna have to put them all back together <laughs> what a pain um let's come back to this I like looking at this because this, again, is going to be how I see it most of the time. The ones that I'm most tempted to buy are the the ones that are, so Ink Studio 431, Hope Pink, Cyclamen Pink, love it, Momo Pink, love it. This Rocco Alps Pink, mm -hmm. Rose Grenade, Orchidae, all those. I was actually really tempted also by... Uh, that Robin one, which I've lost on this page, but you know which one, and I liked it. Oh, Tasmanian Robin pink. I love that one. Or electric pink. I don't own any inks by them, uh, Robert Castell. So that's actually pretty tempting because I like the idea of having inks from everybody. Um, now, people recommended some brands. There are some I've left out because I don't want their inks. <laughs> So you may know one and that's all right. I'm not judging for other people. Don't buy their inks, like whatever. You do what you want with, for yourself. But um, that may be why you didn't see some here. Some were like, oh, you didn't include this. And it was because I really wanted this to be 30 pinks that were new to me. This was, a, I mean, this was for you, sure. But this was also for me. Like I did not own that many pinks before now. Um, if we look at like, what do I own? I mean, I have these I bought this year and I didn't have many. Um, I have darker ones like magenta. Oh, I also like fairy tale pink, right? It's like delicate, but not too much. I get caught up in like FOMO sometimes. I know I'm alone in that, right? <laughs> no. Um, I bought, I caved 
bought another bottle of Tutsuji. I wasn't going to, but y'all, y'all, it's like my favorite. It was one of my first and like the idea of being without it was just so sad to me. So I found a place that had it and I bought it. And I'm not sad because you know what? Now I can give samples out and feel good about that. I feel like, heck yeah. So these were the ones I owned. Now I bought these this year. So before this year, I had Tsutsuji, Vibrant Pink, Poultry Pink, Abigail, Hissy Fit, and Yamabudo. I don't use Abigail very much. It can tend to be a little bit light, as you can kind of imagine from down there. But so, Clearly I was missing some stuff, so I added these. And now I have like a lot of pink ink. And so I've only added out of this month, I, there's this part of you that when you play with this many inks, you feel like, well, obviously I need to get one of them, right? First off, no you don't. I have so many samples right now. I might give many of them away. Um, so if there was one of these that you're like, Oh, please, please, can I have that one? Hit me up. Maybe the answer will be yes. But this is the only one I bought, Kosumosu. And part of that really is just the fact that it was discontinued and, I'm, and I liked it. Not really compelling. It isn't identical to any of the ones I have. The closest I ha it is is Kobe Cherry, but... They're dissimilar enough for me, and I love the way Iroshizuku inks write. They're, they're so well-behaved, so that was kind of what skewed me that way. So this now, once I get my order, is going to be the pink inks I have, and I don't need more. Now, do I want to do this but with a uh, blurple teal? Yes. I originally had the thought to do this with my favorite shades, which are the blue teal inks that I love so much, you know, like, <clears throat> like this one, or, you know, I'm sure there's some anywhere. Uh, oh, this one. Yes. Yes. I want it. Right. So I was looking, can I find 30? And I just started, what I did is I started looking through um, websites with this, uh, with this filter. Look at this. I have no business, right? And y'all, so I was just adding, adding, adding. I found like 50 inks, which is more than 30, but not 60, right? Because I could do two months, right? So I thought, okay, well, I'll expand a little bit beyond this. And then I wound up with 74, and thus, we kind of have a problem because it's actually not that cheap to buy this many samples. It was, it was kind of a lot of money. Um, but, hey, thanks to y'all, I hit a thousand subscribers. And so now I can start getting um, some money from the ads they've been showing y'all. Unless you have premium. I went for, I got premium and I love it. Um, anyway. That's not me trying to sell it to you. I actually avoided it for a really long time, but I'm basically allergic to ads at this point. Like they make me so angry. Um, <laughs> sorry, derailed. Anyway, so with luck, I will be able to uh, maybe do some more sharing of stuff. We'll see. Um, I am rambling. So what's up next for me? Um, I'm going to do some currently inked. My plan is to put a bunch of these pinks into pens. I have already got two of them in pens and I'm going to swap one for a different color. And then I'm going to, um, ink up some more 
and I'll do a currently inked maybe next week because I think I already have something coming out soon. We'll see. And then um, maybe we'll do a giveaway for like a thousand subscribers or something. Let me know what you think. And then I got one of the ink vents. I got the Colorverse ink vent because I've never done it. I love their inks. So I'm not sure yet if I'll do daily videos in December. Um, some stuff's going on that might make that a big headache for me. Nothing bad, just, you know, life stuff. Um, I know some of you would love to see the 30 teals <laughs> or the 74 teals, whatever it ends up being. So I'm not ruling that out. At the very least, I think I got to do one that's 30 of them, right? Even if I don't do more than 30. Now, all of these I pretty much sort by color. So that's going to be fun. Me trying to put all these away and by color order. Um, what do I have to say? Thank you all so much for being here with me this month. It has been a hectic time and I have really looked forward to seeing your comments um and even those of you that don't comment thanks for being here um i hope whenever you're watching this you're having a wonderful day take care of yourselves bye